Welcome to the video of Vort. Torah tells us at the end of this week, Sedra, how uh, Egypt became wealthy as a consequence of Yosef's strategies. And the Gemara in Pesachim says that uh, Yosef hid away three treasures which would ultimately be revealed. The first of the three treasures that he hid in Egypt was to be revealed to Korach. The second of the three treasures that he hid in Egypt would ultimately be revealed to Antignos, also known as the Emperor Antoninus. And the third of the three treasures that was hidden away would ultimately be re uh, revealed by the righteous, the tzaddikim, in the world to come. What is the meaning of, this, uh, of these three treasures of the statement of Chazal? Rabbi Menachem ben Zion Zaks, in his Sefer Menachem Zion, suggests that each one of these treasures is actually a life lesson that Yosef teaches us based on his own life experience. Uh, and each one of these treasures corresponds to one of the three stages in Yosef's life. The first treasure is during the, the, the stage of his life of, of pain and suffering, of difficulty, that was as a consequence of the jealousy that his brothers felt, about, felt for him. And that treasure would be revealed by Korach. That is to say, Korach would discover the power of jealousy, and he would succumb to, the, to, the, to its power and use it uh, to uh, help launch a rebellion against Moshe Rabbeinu. The second, more pleasant treasure, uh, was that it was revealed to Ante, uh, uh, Antoninus. That is to say, the second stage of Yosef's life was one of model leadership, of ethical leadership, leadership of servant leadership, where uh, Yosef uh, is uh, doing well by Paro, doing well by his brothers, and doing well by the peop uh, for the people of Egypt uh, itself. And that is modeled uh, by uh, Antoninus, who was a good emperor, who by our tradition had a close relationship with Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, who was known in, in history as uh, a, a, an, uh, an honest, ethical, good emperor who did well for his people, who was not corrupt and was not, a, uh, and, and, and was not an evil autocrat. And the third treasure, the third treasure is the, based on the third, uh, the third stage of Yosef's life. And that is uh, seeing the fruition of the dreams. With all the difficulties and all the challenges throughout Yosef's life, ultimately the promises of, the, of those dreams were fulfilled. And that is the message uh, that is understood by the tzaddikim in the world to come, and one which we should all cling on to ourselves. And that is yesh din v'yesh dayin. There is a judge and there is justice in the world. Where things might seem tough and things might seem challenging and things might seem unjust, but we must understand that's the third timeless message. We must understand yesh din v'yesh dayin. There is a judge and there is justice in the world. That, and that is something which is understood by the tzaddikim in the world to come, where sometimes uh, the most righteous uh, seem to lead, uh, lead lives of the, mo of the greatest challenge. But yesh din v'yesh dayin, just as it was for Yosef, so it is for us, and so it will be forevermore. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless us to hold on to each one of these treasures that Yosef hid away, and to understand the message that each one has for us. Good Shabbos.